Protesters will gather right outside the Oaklawn Police Department uh, this afternoon. Yeah, they're calling for action against the officers caught on camera beating up a teenager. Nate Rogers is there live ahead of this protest to tell us what we need to know. Nate. Yeah, that's right, Anthony and Sally. Good afternoon to both of you all. A third rally will kick off here outside of Oak Lawn's police station. In the next hour or so, multiple community organizations now joining the Arab American Action Network. All three groups collectively calling for three white officers involved to immediately be fired. 17-year-old Hadi Abutela is now in the custody of his parents. After being released from the hospital Monday, he's now facing multiple charges. Oak Lawn police could be seen beating the teen last month on video that is now going viral viral following a traffic stop where police claim they smelt weed emanating from the vehicle Abba Taylor was in. The teen ran from police prior to the beating. Officers then found a gun and three rounds of ammunition inside a bag that Abu Tayla was holding. The 17-year-old sustained multiple injuries, including bleeding on his brain, a broken pelvis, nose, and bruises throughout his body. Oakland police have charged him with unlawful use of a weapon, resisting arrest, and possession of cannabis. Now, it's not yet known if the Cook County prosecutors will move forward on these charges against Abu Taylor. His family has now filed a federal civil lawsuit accusing the police department here of excessive force. Again, that rally kicking off at five o'clock. Again, multiple um, community organizations joining this group. The first rally, um, what, there were at least two to 300 people. We're not sure how many folks will be here today. We do know Oak Lawn right now on um, their public works department. They're blocking off the streets just to make sure that folks will um, have room to demonstrate. That is the latest here in Oak Lawn. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. Thank you, Nate.